unlike anything we had ever heard. We are sending an elite team to go find this alien band, making this sonic funk, and bring them back. The fate of the United Galaxy Alliance. Nay, the universe depends upon it. You, Captain, are leading that mission. Chief Head Pug is the heavy weapons carrier for the Dreadrock Division. He also rallied a charge in the Holcomb campaign. You're a Greasian. I've heard Greasians have a natural technical ability. Fab Five, five ready. ready? You put the engine in the air. I'll put the engine in your ear. Sir? Commander? This is a sieve, Captain. Your mission starts now, Captain. The ship? What's her name? Griffin. Change. You're a funny man, Breedy. You should have changed it to like Redrock. Yeah, Redrock. That would have been cool. So what's your deal, Cap? What do you do for fun? I just lost four pilots in my squad, Officer Breedy. So when I say what I actually mean. With all due respect, Officer Breedy, I'm not interested in pleasantries. Identification and business. Captain Muse and crew reporting to Psy Med Officer Blix 182. Home. Scanning. Hello, Officer Blix. Come in, come in, welcome to the sciences. I am Simon Officer Blix, a biotic life form intelligence X unit, model 182. How can I help you? Officer Blix, I am Captain Muse. I have recently been reassigned. My crew and I have orders to report to you. As I understand, you will be this team's chief Psy Med officer. Late, Captain, late! Our upcoming mission relies heavily on time, and our mission's successful outcome may rely solely on the urgency of that time. Then I will come straight to the point, Commander. I am here to have you accompany me to your next assignment. I am also here to get a debrief on some requisitions that we will be taking with us. Yes, of course, Captain! Of course! And the requisitions are purely fascinating, just fascinating! Our clearance is of the highest level. And I am very anxious to see them working in the field. Are you telling me, Commander, that these requisitions are experimental and have not yet been tested in the field? Oh, tested? Yes, they have all been tested in the field. Standard issue, though, impossible. Just not enough material. Not enough material. And impossible to anticipate all the variables in the field. Very excited to see their performance, nonetheless. So what are we talking about, Commander? Dark energy and dark matter, Captain. Dark energy and dark matter. Substances here when the universe began. Extremely rare in this state. In fact, to my knowledge, never found in this state before. A UG-40 deep space mining team making a routine survey on what was a typical asteroid turned out to be one of the most amazing scientific discoveries to date. It was a giant rock of fused dark matter and dark energy. The mining team couldn't identify the rock with any elements they were familiar with. It wasn't until we brought it to the labs that we made the discovery. These elements, that typically can't be touched or seen or detected by any conventional means, somehow fuse together like a rock. Because these elements were created when the universe began, their reaction to more developed elements was just fascinating, just fascinating. As an engineer, I know we've contemplated using dark energy and dark matter as a fire source. We were just never able to harness it. What do you mean? more developed elements. Well, dark matter and energy are elements that have been around when the universe was formed. When I say more developed, I'm speaking relative to the universe's creation. The elements we're more familiar with were all formed after the explosive creation of the universe and when stars were born. Elements are created from a star's death, as it were. Brillium, Caltrite, Venumen, Audrium, just to name a few. That's all well and good, Commander. But why am I carrying this stuff halfway across the universe and back? Excellent question, Captain. 
You see, the actual element has a positive and negative attraction to other various elements with surprising results. Its chemical compound actually allowed it to be molded. So, what did you mold it into? A weave, Captain. A weave. I mean, it took bions to test the matter, and its effects to a zeriad of elements and scenarios. But the positives were positive, and the negatives were positive. The dark matter energy fuse had many possible applications, but performed amazingly when applied as an outer shell to any other substance, and had amazing results when covering organic materials. So in time, taking the dark matter, dark energy, and breaking it down into a weave, we made a suit. So, United Galaxies is issuing us new uniforms? Uniforms, Captain. Not just uniforms, Captain. Once you put on the suit, it will immediately begin to start binding with you. The matter actually fused with organics. You can take off the matter, but it still retained the organics properties and wouldn't fuse with another subject. And, with the small supply of the rock, test subjects had to be limited. But now that you are here... You see, as the data kept pouring in, we could quickly see the benefits of the matter. And... After the success of the weave, UG Science Division was quick to approve the production of ten more suits. Why ten? It's all we could spare. The rest of the rock was being dedicated to other research. And you want us to try them on now? Oh, no, Captain. Not try them on. Wear them! The details of your team's orders were clear. You and your team are to wear the suits from now on to allow the suits enough time to bind with you before departure. So he goes fast. Hey, I love new skins as much as the next guy, but military before civvies, you dig? I say we do biggest to smallest. The suits we won't actually work with the civs makeup. But as the captain and leader of this mission, I do suggest you be the first to try it on and demonstrate to your team how safe these are. Did Science Division get funded for a locker room, Commander? No, I mean, not necessary, Captain. Just simply hold out your hand. What? You mean just like this? Precisely, Captain. What's supposed to happen? Will it hurt? The binding might make you feel odd, but you shouldn't feel any discomfort. Shouldn't. Is that it? Or is something supposed to happen? Patience, Captain! And what happens to my uniform I have on now? Wow, wow, wow! Relax, Captain! You should only feel a slight tingle! Wait! Ugh. Man, not cool. Well, chilly work my grooming's rubbish. Listen up, Egg Cup. Anything wrong with her and the suits are off. I can assure you, Mr. Frederick, the Captain is fine. Unfortunately, once the process of the binding starts, it cannot be stopped. Captain? Captain, how are you feeling? Captain? Ugh... That was a little more than a tingle, Commander. But how do you feel, Captain? I... I feel... I feel... I feel great. What is it? I've never... You're feeling the effects of the new composition that the fused dark matter and dark energy create. Energy pushes, matter pulls. Right now, you should feel that pushing and pulling, restoring your body to a perfect physical state as it heals any damaged cells and or repairs any defect. This is amazing. After the bind is complete, you should feel at maximum potential. That and your maximum potential should have centripled in output. Truly, the building blocks of the universe. What's with the vitals? With the obvious health benefits, we thought to mesh it into a biosuit. Initially, to monitor test subjects' vitals wearing the suit. When does this tingling stop? The effects are immediate and should pass shortly. Other than biological, is there anything else we should know about the suits? Yes, Captain. Light refraction and absorption. What? Just hold still, Captain. I think you would better understand with a demonstration. You're going to shoot me? Ah! Wah! That felt good. Yes, Captain. Yes. The same pushing and pulling from the dark energy and dark matter that's correcting your biological makeup also takes the positive effects of newly introduced energy and disposes any negative effects relative to its host. This is amazing. I've never felt anything like this before. Do you know how much money you could make with these? I've taken your vitals off of your suit and you are reading in extraordinary health. If you are good, we should proceed with suiting up the others. Time is not our friend, Captain. Okay. Well, who's next?
Oh, 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 oh,